We are sharing short stories from the mission field. I am with my friend Miguel here. Miguel, why don't you share something uh, that happened in Colombia? Okay, well, I mean, one of the stories that helps us understand what they're, what what people are going through in on the mission field. Um, it was one time uh, my wife and I were going back home after an English class ministry that we had uh, for outreach. And um, there's a bridge uh, that you have to do a U-turn on to go back home. And as we were taking that bridge, I noticed a figure of a person um, in the, at 9 p.m. You, you see that figure because there's big trucks coming under the bridge with their uh, bright lights on. So you see just a silhouette of a person. And I noticed this person was on the bridge, not on the side where you walk, but on the other side. So I very quickly got the car and, and stopped on the side, went over to this person. Uh, his name is Carlos. And I, and I said to this person, hey, um, is everything okay? And uh, he said, no, he was crying. Uh, he said, um, nobody loves me. Nobody cares for me. And so I just, I just don't want to deal with life anymore. And so I told him, hey, you know, God loves you. God cares for you. Um, uh, let me tell you more about that. Uh, and so... Uh, it took a little bit more convincing to do, uh, just tell him about how God really, really loves him. That that was the reason why I was there. Um, it wasn't just a coincidence. Uh, God had me there for that reason. And so eventually I was able to grab him by the by the arms, pull him back over on the other side of the bridge, and um, and uh, eventually I shared the gospel with him. But this story, what it shows is the, the mindset of people on the mission field, and uh, they have no hope. Uh, they don't know love. And that's why we go to show them God's love uh, so that they can now have hope in God. Amen.